द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस पाइथन है करेंट सीरीज इज सेट डॉट यूनियन यर इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे हैव इंट्रोड्यूस अस टू एन फंक्शन यूनियन सो विल टेक अ लुक एट सैम्पल इनपुट फॉर्मेट सो एट फर्स्ट दे हैव टेकन एन विच इज दिस नाइन द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव सब्सक्राइब टू द इंग्लिश न्यूज पेपर एंड हियर दे हैव स्पेस सेपरेटेड रोल नंबर ऑफ those students and on the third line they have taken the input of number of students who have subscribed to the french newspaper and also down over here on the last line they have space separated roll number of those students so what we have to do we just have to print the total number of students who have at least one subscription so at least for at least one subscription means i'll show you this ex as an example as you can see here they have there is one set s inside that set they have stored a string hacker and they have used union function and they have taken the union of this set s and the string rank so here in the output as you can see the k appears twice but as we have done union of these two string inside our resultant set it will appear only once so the same thing is been used over here so we have to calculate for this purpose is union because we have we want at least one subscription of the student so we'll go ahead and we'll write the code so the code will be first we we'll, we are going to take the input so we are going to write input and now we are going to take the input of space separated Roll numbers n one is equal to set. We also want to convert them into set, so we are writing set over there, and we are going to map them. We because we want to convert them into integer input dot split. So yes, that's it. Similarly, we are going to do it for the second input also. So what I'll do, I'll just copy this and. we'll paste it down over here and we'll just change the variable name so we'll take it as m and here is we'll take it as m1 so now we just have to calculate the union we have to calc so for that we'll write n1 dot union and inside that union we'll pass m1 as a parameter and we'll store that result under a variable ans and down we have to return uh, we have to print total number of students so for that we will require a for loop for i in ans so ans is the set which we have got after taking the union of these two states sets n1 and m1 and down we are going to increase the count uh, we first have to declare the count so i'll just declare it and assign it to 0 at first and now we'll increase the count by 1 so we'll write count is equal to count plus 1 okay so now we just have to print the number so we are going to print count so count will return the total number of students in that set a n s so we'll so we'll run the code and we'll check the output yes it is working and now we'll check it for rest of the test cases yes it is working for rest of the test cases also the solution for all other questions in the series are available on my channel and also if you have any query let me know it in comment section given below thank you guys for watching this video